today we're meeting the owners of Britain's wonkiest house. It's the 600 year old Crooked House in Lebanon. Some of you might even recognize it because it's one of the most photographed houses in the world. But now let's meet Alex and Ollie. Oh, look, we've got something. Built in 1395, this be a fine wool merchant's house and the very same that inspired the old English nursery rhyme, there was a crooked man. Today, this home to two crooked men who host here in the most magnificent parties, events, tours and experiences. Hello! Hi! Welcome. Hello, come Hi. on in, welcome to the Crooked House. Thank you so much. So we're here with the wonderful owners of the Crooked House, Alex and Ollie. Thank you so much for having us, by the wonderful way. Wonderful to have you here. It's so great to be here. This house is like a dream. Too kind. <laughs> we love it here. It's a very uh, special house for us. I can imagine. And we, we just want to know more about your story. I think the viewers are really interested in that as well. How you came across this amazing house and what does it feel like to live here? It's a very special feeling living here. It's a 600-year-old house. It was built in 1395, um, but we discovered it in uh, 2018, um, a few years ago. Um, when I came here, I hadn't met Ollie at the time. I came here on my own when, when it was a tea room, um, and I was looking for a, a weekend away from London. One mm -hmm. of my friends said, go to Lavenham and go to a lovely little tea room called the Crooked House. Um, <laughs> and I stepped inside the door over there, and I sat at a table just here, um, and I I thought I want to live in this house. It's it is such a magical place. Like I can you say. totally see that. <laughs> we love it. Um, and then two years later, um, I met Ollie in lockdown. Uh, the world had changed. Everything had stopped for for COVID, um, and. Amazingly, the Crooked House had come up for sale at the time. And Ollie and I had just started chatting, and I sent him the link on Rightmove and said, you know, wouldn't this be the dream house for us to live in? It was a very forward thing to say, <laughs> but, but luckily he agreed. Exactly, I did, and I, you know, I'd never heard of Lavenham, the village, I'd never seen this house, but then Alex sends me this link on Rightmove, and I think, that is the perfect house for us. Um, it looked so magical yeah. um, and so interesting and so old that we thought, what a perfect place for us to live. Yeah. Um, and so we'd only known each other a couple of months, but we wanted to, to go. But then, sadly, it went under offer and somebody else wanted to take it first. <laughs> but luckily, that sale fell through. Um, and on that day, Ollie booked a surprise trip for us from London. And there was a, a hired car that he found. And we came here to Lavenham and I couldn't believe we were actually coming to Lavenham. I remember saying to him, you know, if we're viewing the house, but we're not going to buy it, you know, it's going to break my heart. <laughs> but luckily, he was as serious as I was. And we had our offer accepted. And um, we've never looked back. You know, this is our home for life. Uh, we never want to leave it's a wonderful place to live um, and now we're sort of sharing it with everyone it's it's like fate <laughs> thank yeah. you it really does feel like yes yeah. yes yeah and what does it feel like to live in a 600 year old house i think it's it is quite extraordinary because it is a domestic house and always has been so for the last 600 years people have done exactly the same things as we do in this <laughs> physical space. Yeah. Um, we go to bed, we get up, we dress, we wash, we cook. And that's exactly what people in this house have done for the last 628 years. Yes. And I think it's that connection to history that we feel every day living here. You really understand the people who've lived in this house because you both inhabit the same space. Um, so we understand the light and the way that the house is built. We understand how to heat the house when there really isn't modern heating. <laughs> you um, have to heat yourself. You yeah. can't heat the house. <laughs> it's very drafty. <laughs> so that's really been our approach from the start is, is try almost to live a bit more like the people who have lived here for the last 600 years rather than trying to pull the house into the modern day push ourselves back in time uh, and then it's actually a very comfortable wonderful place to live as such we're slightly eccentric and we have our tudor costumes as we've, <laughs> we've told you about but we'll come on to that later <laughs> so this house i mean crooked house it is very unique i mean obviously one of the most photographed houses in the world how come it looks like it 
it does. I mean, it's a very good question. <laughs> yes. Lots of people say, you know, why is it so crooked? Yeah. Um, it is the inspiration for the nursery rhyme. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. Um, so it has been crooked for a long time. Um, and it probably became crooked about 100 years after it was built. Um, it was built by a wool merchant in 1395. Lavenham at the time was becoming a very rich place. It was the richest wool town in England um, because they made a very special cloth here called Lavenham Blue Cloth. Um, and it was the kind of denim of the day it was very fashionable everyone wanted to buy it mm -hmm. and so it made the people in Lavenham very rich and the man who owned this house was one of the earliest wool merchants and he became very rich and wanted um, a big grand house to show off his newfound wealth um, however he'd made his money so quickly that he didn't let the wood to build um, the house out of dry properly um, and as it dried the house kind of twisted and contorted into this famously crooked shape. Um, but sadly for Lavenham, the wool wealth didn't last that long. Um, and as more fashionable weavers came to nearby Colchester, um, Lavenham lost a lot of its, its money. And so they never had the money to knock down this crooked house and rebuild it. And we're very glad that they didn't because it's a very special place and people love it because it's crooked and because it doesn't look like other houses exactly. and, and we love it the same. Yeah, it catches your eye straight away. Yes. <laughs> And so this house that like you live in now, it used to be a lot bigger mm. hundreds of years ago, right? Yeah, so exactly. So what you see today as the crooked house, which we live in, was originally part of a much bigger medieval hall house. Mm -hmm. And so our house, the house next to it, and the house next to that was all originally one single house. We now live in this part, the crooked house, which was originally the kitchen and the pantry. Um, next door to us, our neighbours on this side would have had the medieval Great Hall, mm -hmm. a single room, double height, um, which was built just to entertain. It was a, an entertaining space for clients, for friends, for royals, um, but also to display all the wool and the wealth that was being made um, in our house, because upstairs was the weaver's workshop. And yes. so that's where the magic happened. That's where all of this lavender and blue cloth was made, which made Lavenham so rich. And then finally, on the other side would have been a similar looking building to the Crooked House, but that was the private quarters of the wool merchant who would have built this this large medieval hall house in the first place. Just amazing, so special. But we will continue and we'll show you more. There was a crooked man, he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. As you can see, we're in the gorgeous dining room of the Crooked House. And, well, Ollie and Alex, you're hosting special events here. Can you tell us more and the viewers more about this? Definitely, yes. We have a wonderful supper club here in the Crooked House, um, all around our dining table here. Ollie does all of the cooking for our 18 guests each time. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've, I've learned a lot about how to cook for large numbers of people, especially given our kitchen is downstairs, but our dining room is upstairs, so that's <laughs> the first challenge that we have to face. Yes, yeah. And also, I mean, so you're hosting like black tie dinners and yep. like themed events. For Everybody Halloween. gets dressed up, yes, for Halloween, for Christmas. If it's an occasion, we find an excuse to have a party here in the Crooked House. <laughs> uh, we love decorating the table. Um, we love inviting everyone. We, we meet so many amazing, interesting people. Yes. Um, we mix everybody up around our table. Um, so everyone gets to make new friends and hopefully magical memories here. Mm -hmm. So you can also book house tours with you. I mean... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So everything we do is really about telling the 600-year story of 
the house, um, whether that's through our black tie dinners, but also we run uh, a series of house tours where people can come and experience the house in a slightly different way. Uh, and we also offer a crooked life experience where you can live a bit more like us for half a day or a full day. Uh, that includes a tour of the house, but also we do a tour of Lavenham, the village that we live in. Uh, and then we all come back to the crooked house for a traditional English afternoon tea. That sounds lovely. And it's also so fun, funny to watch the people outside because <laughs> you, you see like, people walking past the house taking pictures it makes um, everybody smile that's yes, what we love yes you know? when people see the house they always smile it, it looks very unusual but that's why we love it and that's why they love it exactly, so it's a great place to be exactly Here's my very special bookcase yeah. uh, with all my favourite books in, but even more special than my books, if that's possible, uh -huh. is this little model of the house, which I bought for Alex the first Christmas uh, that we had met, uh, but we hadn't yet moved into the Crooked House. So I bought this for him for Christmas and said, Alex, one day we will live here. And three months later, we moved in. I mean, I call that manifestation conceit. It seems to work. <laughs> Gives me hope. So what I would really love to know, and I'm sure a lot of you as well, is this house haunted? It is indeed, yeah. Actually, you look, you look afraid. I know, <laughs> yes. Well, when we came to the house, we know it's haunted because we've had some experiences ourselves, but also we received this letter when we moved in. Mm -hmm. And this was from the ladies we bought the house from. And it says... Dear Ollie and Alex, welcome to the Crooked House. We've had many happy years here and hope you will too. Just to let you know, there are a few other residents you'll be sharing your new house with, as we have for the past 18 years. In the bedroom, where we are now, is the ghost spirit memory, call it what you will, of a woman and child. And I woke up one evening over in the bed here and saw a woman standing in front of me. Um, and I was surprised by this, <laughs> but actually I wasn't afraid. It was a very nice, calming feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and similarly, there's also in the letter reference to a lady called Mrs. Carter, who is said to haunt the house, and she was from the 1960s, and Ollie has experienced her. I have, yes. Yeah. So Mrs. Carter, um, her father was a priest under the last Tsar in Russia, and when the revolution came, they fled uh, Russia and came to England. Later in life, Mrs. Carter moved to Lavenham. Uh, and so people say that when Mrs. Carter is in the house, you don't see her, but you can smell her. Uh, and that's exactly what I experienced. I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this incredibly strong smell of floral perfume. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's exactly what people have said about Mrs. Carter's spirit in the house. Um, again, it was a very nice feeling. I wasn't scared. Obviously, I sniffed Alex to see if it was him uh, but it wasn't him and then the smell disappeared um, so we're very happy to, to be here with our ghosts um, but there are plenty of them it's a, it's a cosy wow. house but it's a very friendly house and we'll when we when we finished here no doubt we'll stay on as ghosts as well so <laughs> that's really interesting to hear. it gives me shivers <laughs> honestly so yeah it's a special place yes it does sound I mean it is magical and that makes it even more I don't know, special. <laughs> Come on through, come on through. Oh, thank you. Welcome to my kitchen. And <laughs> luckily you. for you, I've made something very special. Okay. Here you have our very first batch of crookies. <laughs> crookies, look at this. I mean, our crooked house biscuits just for you. Wow, amazing, thank you. And also, I mean, the house has this amazing orange color. Of um, course, yeah, we had to make them orange to, uh, to match the house. I, I thought because of Halloween, mm. but it's perfect, isn't it? Gorgeous, thank you so much. <laughs> Now, this was absolutely wonderful. We honestly can't thank you enough. It's been wonderful having you here. 
I think this comes across on camera how very special the Crooked House is. And if you're in the area, if you're in Levenham, you have to visit this gorgeous, magical house. So Please do. <laughs> thank you, you so much. Soon. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. And you. Thank you so honestly. much for coming. Thank you so really much. Brilliant. So, yeah. We better let you out. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully see you again very soon. Absolutely. Come back to Lavenham soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>
I finally checked into our hotel room and was staying at the Swan in Levenham, which is on the high street, only about 50 or 100 meters from where Alex and Ollie live in a crooked house. So that's really great. And of course, the, the Swan is in a historic building as well. It's from the 15th century and our room has great features. So I'll give you a tour. A tour in inverted commas while Jörg is parking the car. So this is a so-called heritage room and you can see the, the features. It's great. It's really great. So we also have dinner here tonight because it makes things easier. So really, really um, I don't know, charming and unique. Lots of character. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. It's just, I mean, just a regular bathroom, I think. It's the room that's very characterful. And the ceiling is very high. It's by down here in the loose of the Swan Hotel. And as soon as I stepped in, I thought I need to share it because some places do give you a lot of interior inspiration. So, so this is the wallpaper down here. And I do love this green. Lovely lampshades. I bet they are from Pookie. I love this one hook. It's very fitting, isn't it? Hope it's okay to share, but for those of you who do love interior and interior design, I think it's a great place. This is the St. Peter and St. Paul Church. Look how big it is. It's massive. Yes, it's the, the church tower. Mm -hmm. It's the tallest in uh, England. Yeah. I mean, seeing this for the first time, you think, wow. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, for a village. But back in the day, it was, Levenham was, was a town. Yes, so, and it was belonged to the 20th wealthiest town in England. Yeah. So, which is something. Exactly. And that's why you find this huge church here as well, because it also symbolizes wealth. Yeah. We hope you like this video. I must say, we had so much fun filming here on Levenham. Yes, Levenham is really special. Yes, it has such a magical touch to it. Also, I mean, the Crooked House and Alex and Ollie are special as well. Yes, so. they are. They're really one of a kind. Yeah, yeah. We go home feeling so inspired and as always, we can't thank you enough for watching and for your support. It means the world, honestly. So, yeah. hopefully we'll see you again very soon. And until next time. So, bye. 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 bye Take bye. care. Bye.